Hi guys, welcome back to Firm Bus with Basic Economy where we are at Munchen where I saved the game last time so I need to log out of the previous route ok, we should then be able to continue and create our next route and what I'm going to do now is connect the um, hubs to the airport because I think that's important and we need to um, make sure everybody can get to the airport basically so we're going to create a new route which will be route 21 into the 20s now we're getting quite a network built up ok so we're in Munchen so we'll go from Munchen and we need to go to Frankfurt airport so it's going to be a fairly long journey but ok so we're going to departures at the airport I mean, it's not that bad 4 hours 44 minutes so it's not too bad, it'll be a rest stop on the way somewhere I'd imagine so let's set it up in the spreadsheet so we are going to go Munchen to Frankfurt Airport we're not making any stops on the way this is purely an airport connection so it's 442 kilometres Now, I want to um, offer a pretty good discount on this one, I think. So, what I'm going to do is make the um, the price for having the ticket in advance a pretty good discount off what they would normally pay if they buy in advance. So, we're going to give them like 11 euro discount, something like that just because it's an airport route, why not? So that's a bigger discount than we normally give because when we've had 45.49 as the um, higher rate we've had 38.99 as the lower one, this time we're doing 34.75 okay so route 21 okay, Munchen to Frankfurt Airport, no intermediate stops. Time was 4.44, all the fours. Should have been able to remember that really, shouldn't I? 4.44 and it's 442 kilometres. Okay, and those ticket rates I set were 34.75 and 45.49. So 34.75 and 45.49 so they really do better if they buy in advance ok week 21 ok that's pulled in the ticket rates that's fine so we'll just check our tab now I would think this would really need to run every day and so would the return journey that we'll be doing next so we'll, we'll put them both on every day Routes list is fine, Munch into the airport, that all looks good, so we should be ready to go. Okay, so if we save there and hit continue, we should be ready if we log into the phone. We'll set up our bus because our ignition is off and everything. Clearances are all on. Turn on the air conditioning, that's fine. Okay, that all looks good. So we'll open the door, leave our seat, if I do it right. Okay, that's it. Go outside, open the luggage door, and check our passengers in. So if anybody's buying a ticket, and I can see one, that'll be the much higher rate. There is nothing written on the display. Really? Is there not? Well, there is now. Okay. Maybe it was on already and I accidentally turned it off. So they won't get on unless the bus tells them where you're going. Which isn't un unreasonable, is it? Okay, that's one. Mannheim. No, we're not going Mannheim. Okay, airport. Ivy. Where's Ivy? 
Oh yeah, she's there. That's two. Hi, let's take it. Yep, you're going to the airport, Steena. That's three. This chap here. Yep. Okay, that's four. Mahlzeit hier, mein Ticket. Janosch. That's five. Mahlzeit, mein Ticket. Uh, yep, he's there. That's six. Danke. Hello, bin ich hier richtig? Uh, Louis, that's seven. Servus, das Ticket. Bitte schön. Yep, Joshua. That's eight. Grüezi, ist das gültig? Okay, that's nine. This lady. Estelle is ten. Okay, so we've got ten who've already got the tickets, and this person here wants a ticket to the airport. That's Andy. So we're done. Should be everybody. That lady wants to go to Mannheim. We're not going there, so she'll have to get another bus. Sorry, young lady, but we're not going your way. Right, so let's complete the spreadsheet. So we've got 10 had tickets in advance and one paid to much higher rate. Okay, should make us a profit. I can't say how much, but it should make us something. Oh, 39 euros, not a lot, but oh well, it's something. Mind you, we did do quite a big discount for those who already got the ticket, so we wouldn't make that much. But that's fine, because it's... I want to do a bigger discount just because it's the airport route. Okay, so we'll skip forward. We'll start the ride. We should be okay to go. Now, what I didn't check was, was there a rest stop? And yes, there is. And it says around about 8.19 in the evening. Okay. I haven't set the time to real time, which I perhaps should have done, really. It doesn't matter that much. I might do it at the other end. Because I don't really want it to move forward to the, the next day until... It really moves forward to the next day, if you see what I mean. Real time does. So I might set the time to the correct time when we get to the other end. But I can't really do it now. Okay, key thing is let's get to the airport. And what we're going to do is we're not going to come straight back. We're not going to do the return journey straight away the way we have done before. And you'll see why when I get there. But effectively, I want to set up all the routes to the airport from the four hubs. I've got one from Erfurt because it goes via the hotel to the airport, so that's fine. But the other four have no connection to the airport at the moment, which I think they need. Because the airport will be a major destination, all the hubs should probably connect there. And then what people would do is they would get a bus from the other cities into the hub and then get the bus from the hub to the airport. That's the theory. pretty much how bus hubs work. I mean, they don't have every town connected to every other town. You have hubs and people get a bus into there and then get a bus out to somewhere else. It may take the passenger a little bit longer to get where they're going, but it's the most efficient way to do things usually. Under our famous bridge again. I'm going to wait for the traffic lights again. Traffic lights are traffic lights. Can't do anything about them. This is why the spreadsheet does not affect firm bus gameplay in any way. Number of passengers, where they're going, 
traffic, traffic lights, all that stuff. It's just a firm bus, you can't do anything about any of it. Weather, all of that. So it's Saturday today and as far as I know we're still on system day. I didn't check but I think we still are. There's the fuel station where we refuelled. But I think we're still on system date, so this is firm bus traffic on a Saturday, which seems relatively busy, but not too bad. Whilst this is a fairly long route, it's not the longest we've done. But there will be other hubs that are closer to the airport. Berlin might even be further, I'm not sure. Won't really know until we do it. I haven't checked out the distances in advance or anything like that, but... Okay. Looks okay coming down there. I can't see anything coming down there, so Okay, we should be getting on to the motorway now. Should be a fairly straightforward journey, I would have thought. straight on down here. Don't see any reason we'd be heading Nuremberg or Constance way. So we'll try and get these hubs connected to the airport. That'll be the priority today. May even take us into tomorrow to be honest because I doubt we'll get them all done today. time for uploading and everything after I've actually driven the route then it takes a bit longer to get stuff onto YouTube than just driving it. But our network is building quite nicely. I'm not sure how many routes we're going to finally end up with. Now I should say you can drive any route any time. I mean there's no reason why we couldn't drive route 1 if we wanted to. Except that it starts in Erfurt, so we'd need to be in Erfurt to start it, obviously. Well, technically you can, in firm bus, just say you'll drive your route and it'll sort of teleport you to the right place. But I prefer to actually be in the right place to start, if you see what I mean. Well, I'm not sure we did that all the way along, but we'll certainly try and do it now. If we wanted to start a route in Erfurt and we're in München, we would have to do a route that goes München to Erfurt and then do the Erfurt route. So but there's no reason why you can't drive any route at any time you feel like. Once the route's set up, you can go back and drive any one any time you want. <coughs> Excuse me. The only thing I would sort of do is, you obviously find that some routes are perhaps more profitable than others, and firm bus perhaps gives you more passengers on some routes than others. But I would avoid driving the same routes over and over again just because they're the most profitable, because that would be a bit boring. And certainly if anybody's interested in the virtual coach company idea, there would be a condition that you can't drive the same route more than once in any 
given period. You could drive like the outward route and the return route, but then you couldn't drive that again that would force people to drive different routes and not just drive the most profitable ones. I think that would sort of make sense. We shouldn't have any problems getting to the airport and then back to Munchen without needing to refuel. So we can refuel again in Munchen the same way we did last time. But all that's in the future at the moment. We've got to get this route done first. Departures was at the top level of the airport, so that's where we'll be going. And then when we do the return, which we won't be doing immediately, as I say, but when we do do, um, we'll be coming from arrivals. So we'll have to go down to the bottom level to pick up the arrivals, to pick up the passengers there, to go back to Munchen. But I want to do it slightly differently. We'll sell up the route, we just won't drive it. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Okay. Here we've got some roadworks coming up by the look of it. That arrow's telling us that lane is closed. Yep, there's an X on it. Oh, I sincerely hoping that bloke behind me was going to break. He'd drive straight into me. Wish the AI wouldn't do that, but there you go. It doesn't seem to realise that coaches sometimes need a little bit of room when going round bends. instead of braking behind you, which is what you should have done, in my view, you just drove straight into me. But, there you go, that's the AI. That's AI for you. Right, and the roadworks are coming to an end. So hopefully we can get out of these roadworks, get in the right-hand lane and let him go by. So if I get over here, with a bit of luck he'll go by now. Here he comes. That's the guy who hit me, I think. He must have been coming up there quite fast as well, because he should have been slowing to 60 anyway for the road work, so what, quite why he was coming up there quite that fast, I'm not sure. But there you go. People do. Slam their brakes on at the last minute. Can be annoying on the roads. Okay, so we need a rest stop somewhere, but not quite yet. It was around about 8 o'clock in the evening, I think. The only thing is, I suppose, if we get a police stop, then it might be worth doing it at the same time. Is it a bit misty? It's almost like it's a little misty. thinking about setting time to real time probably isn't going to make a lot of difference because time in firm bus goes past quicker anyway so it's not really going to make a lot of difference is it because in a few hours I've got to drive the routes today time is going to go faster in firm bus anyway Not much we can do about that, so we'll just have to see how things go. Key thing is get the route network set up, that's the most important thing. I 
think we're going to end up with 30, 40 odd routes probably in total. Maybe more actually. We've still got three more hubs to do. So we could end up with near 60 actually. We'll see. Ah, I missed the turning. I should have gone down there. Hopefully there's another turning that will get me down there because there's no way to turn around so it's got to hope now that I can find another turning. Well the sat nav's recalculated. At the moment that road's running parallel to this anyway and I think that's where I would have been. I hope. A fairly good reaction speed sometimes on firm bus. Clearly, mine isn't too bad. We seem to still be getting closer to the airport from the distance on the sat nav, so we're not a million miles out of our way. We're just possibly going a slightly longer route. I think it'll make a vast amount of difference to be honest. I hope anyway. But it's my fault for not looking at the sat nav and taking the right route. I mean, the fundamental thing is follow the right route really. thinking too much about our route network and what I'm trying to achieve and not looking at the sat nav. A lesson to be learned. Never mind, we'll find a way round, hopefully. Distance to the airport is still going down, so it's not as though we're going in totally the wrong direction. And I think we've still got plenty of time to do it. Quite a way to the next junction. So having missed that junction, it's quite a way to the next one. Which is a problem, we're missing your junction. Assuming now I've got satellite tracking and base can tell where I am, they're probably wondering what on earth I'm doing now. We've got radios, they'd be on the radio saying, where the hell are you going? Oh, well, sorry, I missed a turning. But don't worry, I'll find my way round. Still get there. We're taking the slightly scenic route, and quite scenic it is too. another junction before too long. It seems to have been a long time. It's hard to believe this road goes this far with no junctions. What is it? Route 8. So Route 8 in Germany seems to not have very many junctions on it. If this is true to reality. Which I suspect is not, because they probably don't model every junction. But it'd be nice if there was one up here somewhere. 
convince me that I'm headed back to the airport and not. It'll be even worse off than I currently am. We will see. sign coming up up here whether this will tell us anything really that doesn't help a lot don't even want Stuttgart that's a sure fact that's going back the way we've come I'm not sure where Karlsruhe is but hopefully it's closer to the airport So a good tip there, keep an eye on the sat nav and make sure you follow your route. It's entirely my fault because I wasn't concentrating, so... Come on mate, put your foot down. Definitely don't want Constance way, so we've got to keep heading for Karlsruhe, and that hopefully is going to take us to Frankfurt. At the end of the day, it's going to have to, so. The sat -nav's happy to send us this way, so there must be a way round. kilometers so it's not like we're terribly short on time AI waiting to pull out of the slip road whatever next that's unusual mind you it was a police car at the front maybe it's because the police drive more sensibly never know Distance on the sat nav to Frankfurt Airport is still going down, so we're still getting closer. I would just sort of like to see that we're on a road that goes to Frankfurt, it would be quite nice. Uneven road surface sign. Is it going to get a bit bumpy? Doesn't seem to be. I'm going to try and keep making the best progress I can. because I'm not sure that we're not taking a ridiculously long route here. Still need to bear in mind, need a rest stop somewhere. Logic 
we probably ought to do it fairly soon. We'll get that out of the way, then the route is the only thing to worry about. I can't believe I've travelled this far since missing that turn and not seen a sign to Frankfurt. You'd have thought there'd be another road that goes back and connects. Really would. What have we got coming up here? Karlsruhe, Freiburg, Baal, that's going to Switzerland, we don't want that. No, we've got to go off down here. That doesn't surprise me. Into more roadworks by the look of it. So one can only assume that Karlsruhe is somewhere near Frankfurt. At least it would appear that way. Oh, it doesn't look like we are going in the roadworks. It looks like we're going to miss them. So that's good news. Maybe this road goes to Frankfurt. Ah, Frankfurt on the signpost there. Uh, this guy's cutting across for no apparent reason. Right, so we are heading towards Frankfurt now. So, if I see some services, I'm going to pull in and get the rest stop out of the way. And if it's one that's fuel only, I'll try the trick there. see a sign down there, that could be a sign for some services, hopefully. Oh, please stop, so that's an ideal time to do it. Couldn't be better, we'll combine it with the police stop. Police are probably stopping me, saying, where the hell are you going? What? Why are you so far off route? Or why were you so far off route? Perhaps a company of contacts and said, can you find our driver, please? Because <laughs> we've no idea where he is. Wouldn't be unreasonable. Right, here we go. So we'll do the police stop and rest all here. first. Guten Tag. Everybody's wearing their seatbelts. Good passengers. Okay. Rest stop now then. Turn the engine off. We take a break. Okay. Check the passengers now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. go. Passengers checked. Rest stop done. Let's try and get to the airport now, people. Sorry about that slight detour. So I might be 
getting some light on as well, it's getting dark. Actually, I might leave the time as it is, ignoring real time, because it will give us some night driving, which will make a change, won't it? I might do that. Just for a change. Interestingly, I don't think the date has changed because the date still says Friday and today's Saturday. So even though I set it to system date, it seems like that's only sort of at the start and then it runs time for me, sort of thing. Don't know. Not sure about that one. We'll see what happens with time. I guess if I hadn't saved the game, if I'd gone back to the main menu, then it would have probably reset the date. But because I didn't go via the main menu and start from the depot, it hasn't set the date to today. That could be what it's about. So we can leave it as it is and just drive at night and do all of that. It'll be fine. Okay. So we've got plenty of time despite our detour. So that's one good thing. So I'm not entirely sure which direction we're coming into Frankfurt from, whether we've got back on the road we would have been on anyway, or whether we're on a different road. But one way or another, we're going to get to Frankfurt. And that, I guess, is what counts. Apart from that guy who didn't break and went straight into the back of us, we haven't done too badly so far, apart from getting a little bit lost. But we've resolved that. So it's not an out and out disaster. Or at least not as much of one as it might have been. Once we've found a route to the airport in the end, and hopefully on time, we'll be okay. But we'll try to follow the routes better. Gives you a bit of variety, I mean if I did the route again and followed the route correctly then I wouldn't come this way, so... Variety is the spice of life and all that, change as good as the rest. It does seem a little bit misty. Like there's a mountain in the distance I can see and you can't see it very clearly so it looks like it might be simulating it being a bit misty but it's getting dark because it is, well, 8 o'clock in the evening now I 
don't think what day or time it is in firm bus compared to real time really matters that much. It doesn't affect the driving that much, and I don't know how being at night will affect number of passengers. Got no idea because I've not done it. So. Frankfurt AM and Main. Frankfurt and Main. Not sure quite what that means. Does that mean on a river Main or something? There's also the city of Mainz. The Main seems to be of relevance in the area. Is there a river Main? The full name of Frankfurt is Frankfurt and Main, which could mean on Main, as in on the River Main, I don't know. Right, Frankfurt looming. And we are going to be on time, we've got over an hour to do 30 odd kilometres, so... OK, the airport is off to the right down here. Remember, the airport's not in Frankfurt itself. for safety reasons you wouldn't normally put an airport in the middle of a city would you? And the noise and all that stuff, pollution, I mean you want them outside the city. So technically at some point I guess we need a route that goes through Frankfurt and connects Frankfurt itself to the airport even though it's only a few kilometres. But then local buses or taxis can do that. Not necessarily something we have to do. We are more of an intercity coach service, so could perhaps leave that to local buses. Possibly the airport runs shuttle buses into Frankfurt, that would make logical sense. Airports sometimes do have shuttle buses that go to the city that they're serving. OK, so we are 20 kilometres away with about an hour to go, so we've got no problems with time, despite our detour. So it should be off to the right up here, should be that road that goes up to the top of the airport sort of thing, the top level, which is where departures is. Passengers seem happy enough at the moment. They don't seem too upset, so... OK, so this is where we go off, just up here. It's this ring road around Frankfurt and around the airport. So we go up here. You may remember this from our previous trip here after the hotel, go up here around here and departures is right there in front of us ok
They're impressed, we're early. Got your bags, good. I'll be designed. So if they're catching flights, they can do so. Right, so we should be able now to go to the spreadsheet and say yes, we quite definitely were on time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just set up the next the return route, although we're not going to drive it immediately, as you will see, but I just want the route established. Um, yeah, actually, right, I need to log out in Fernbus. I need to set the route in Fernbus as well. I need to know the distance. So, new route. Bus, come on. Thank you. So this will be Route 22. Okay, it's going to go Frankfurt Airport arrivals. Yep. To Munchen. That's fine. Right. So it's 440 kilometres. Slightly shorter, or will be if I follow the right route. Well, these are ticket rates the same. Set up the route. Okay, what's the time on it? Four forty seven. Second, 447, okay, 440 kilometres, 3475 and 4549. Okay, so we're doing all that bit, which should set up the routes list, it should set up the route there, but what we're not going to do is we're not going to put 22 in here because we're not going to drive it yet. What we are going to do next time is we're going to define a route from the airport because that's where we are going to one of the other hubs like probably Cologne. So what we'll do is define the Cologne to Frankfurt airport route, the airport to Cologne route and then drive airport to Cologne and then Cologne back to the airport which links that hub and then we do the same with Hanover, same with Berlin and at the end of it all we drive back to Munchen. That's the way it's going to work. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.